it went from this to this. Let's scratch to this topic. So for the last couple of days, I've been playing with the Anycubic Cobra 3 with multicolor printing and as you saw there, it's very messy. It got all over the place and I couldn't find some of the filament poops that the Cobra 3 slang shot out. And Anycubic does not provide uh, like a basket or something to control the poop that the 3D printer slingshot out, which is this piece right here. The 3D printer extrude filament right here, and then it slingshots out like this. The head comes here, this is a magnetic part, it attached to it, and then when the printhead leaves, this thing slingshot the poop this way. There's no way you can like capture all of them or like watch or put a box to it because it shoots and it flies away, it does not drop down. I could not find any models out there to be my liking that actually solve this problem. So I take it to my own hand. 3D model of filament poop catcher and print it out and it's amazing. This is the piece I'll show you right now. Right here is the piece that I model it on Fusion 360 and 3D print it out. Yes, look at this. It looks really weird and don't mind the black thing here because the other day I tried to print the Cobra 3 with ASA filament and it kind of got clogged and very bad. I forgot to record it but it got clogged and there was still some filament stuck in there so when I print this, the filament got burnt and that's why it's black but it's okay, I got it unclogged. Not the best print but it works like a charm. And this is the first attachment that's gonna go on the Cobra 3. This is the second piece, the basket or the bin that actually holds in the filament. So how does these two parts fit together? Well as you know, I made a video about dovetail joint and I use the same joint here, so which is right here. This is a dovetail joint and it attached to right here. So how does it work? This thing is going to be attached to this slingshot from the Cobra 3. Then you attach this basket with this piece here and it goes in like this. These two pieces connect together right here and then you just slide it. Boom. It fits like a charm, it fits very nicely. Well, is this gonna interfere with anything? Nope. I measure all the distance, I test it, I did some printing with it, and it does not interfere with anything with a 3D printer or any space around it. It definitely takes a little bit more space towards the right hand side of the 3D printer, but it just exceeds the screen a little bit. So if you have a limited room on your desk, this is actually a perfect mod for the Cobra 3 from any cubic. And for me, I think this is a required mod if you're gonna do multicolor printing for the Cobra 3. But now let me show you how to actually assemble this piece. So like I said, first of all, you need to take this off from your Cobra 3, which is over here near the print head. You technically don't have to take it off, but it's way easier to take it off. You just need to unscrew this screw and this screw here and it's basically off from the 3D printer. So here's how to install this. You will need an Allen wrench. The four Allen wrench that comes with your 3D printers is the one that is not the smallest, but the bigger one. So just test them and see if they fit. What you wanna do first is take off this screw right here. This screw here holds to this piece here, which holds this rod right here and make this operation very smooth. So just take this off. Don't worry, this piece will not come off. It has two holes at the bottom here, so you will get the alignment perfect every single time. So why take this off? Well, I'm gonna put this attachment to this and utilize this screw here so that this piece will be more firmly stick to this piece and it will come off during mid print or anything like that. So this is very specifically designed for this thing right here. I measured this and did lots and lots of revision, but I will explain that after this part. If, if you want to hear and know about the process, how I come up with this thing. So if you see here, there's like a small handle or whatever this is called. This attached right in this small gap right here. So you just put this on top like this, align all the holes here and then just press down here and then it will click into place. And as you can see right here, there's a cutout right there, which is the cutout for the screw that I just took out. And now we can screw this screw back in there. I even make this cutout to be perfect for the screw head so that it sits flush with the 3D printed parts. And just look at that, it sits very flush with the 3D printed part. 
so nice and at this point it's already like super sturdy right there so once you get this piece on you can go ahead and install it back on your cobra 3 it will utilize this screw right here to make this piece stick more firmly to this slingshot piece for the cobra 3 and this hole down here just space so that you can put the screw back in there so if you have a cobra 3 you would definitely know that at the back here there's a white circle there that's where the screw goes and hopefully you can see at the bottom here that's where the other screw go so i'm gonna align this right now it just fit back in there very nicely like that and then you put the screw at the back here one screw at the bottom here and this is fully attached so it might not be the best angle but you know exactly where it is and now we can attach this basket to this vitamin catcher right here like i said it's very easy to attach you just go behind here and slide it in you just slide it in there and kaboom look at that you might say that oh it's gonna hit the table no it's not i make it so that it has clearance for everything it does not hit the table it does not interfere with anything and it works like a charm this thing shoots filament it goes over here flies hit this wall bounce down and that's it this is another protection so that if this thing slingshot and it flows like kind of like this way it hits this and bounces down so it's like very secure and it works so nicely i print this sign right here after i install this and it works like a charm this can hold lots and lots of filaments down here it's gonna catch all your pooped filament in this basket and once you're done you can just pull this basket out stub it and then you can just slide it back in like that that is like a required mod for this cobra 3 and well there you go i3 model a filament poop catcher for the cobra 3 and it works like a charm i feel like this is a required mod for the cobra 3 and i wish any cubic could have done something like this while i was playing with it filament flying all over my room I was wondering, does these 3D printers company even care to make like a filament poop catcher? I took it into my own hand and made one for it. The link to this file will be in the description down below. And if you own a Cobra 3, I highly, highly suggest you go ahead and dump this mod. Maybe you can make it even better. And yes, I know I could actually make the box a little bit bigger in size. Some people have limited space, so they just want like a small box to catch all their slangy filament poop after this video is released i'll go back onto fitting 360 and make like a bigger size box for this mod here but as of right now you will get these two pieces and i hope you will enjoy using them as much as i do i just love how the filament is not flying all over my room anymore okay that's all with the installation and all the things and how this thing works with the cobra 3 now i'm just going to show you the process how i got here so this piece right here was the first piece as a test model and i kind of screwed up this thing is not supposed to go here it's supposed to go up and if it's not the best but i kind of get the idea of how to design it next and then comes the second piece which is this piece right here i made the hole for it for the screw this hole down here is a little bit too small so the screw cannot go in and that is a problem so i redesign it and make it two better piece as you can see here these two pieces are, are such differences so after this piece here i model this piece right here and there's a significant difference here and this is on the wrong side so i gotta go back into fusion 360 and redesign this piece here so once i know the orientation of this piece is wrong i went back and designed this piece right here and so you can see here it's a totally different pieces this piece is up and down this piece is left and right and this is the correct way to do it and then so after i got this piece it fits pretty decently but not the best fitment there i was just uh, testing and then i went back and made this which is this piece right here that connects to the bottom of that slingshot right there so that the screw can go in there but it was a little bit off so i need to do some adjustment for the next piece so once i made my adjustment for this piece it turns out to become this piece right here which is almost the final piece this video was almost about this piece right here but when i went back and tested it there was a huge problem with this i did not realize that the cobra 3 shoots the filament while it's still super hot so I tested with some cold filament there. I put it on the slingshotter and I pulled the trigger. It went here, hit the wall, bounced down into this line, and it comes out into that cardboard back there. There was many problems. The first and main problem was that the filament was still super hot, so it shoots and then it hits the wall, it bounced down, and then it gets stuck in here. And after a couple shooting, it just pile up and then your filament just go everywhere. It gets stuck in here, it gets clogged, and then it just doesn't work. 
The second problem was that the box is way too tall. So I put it under this thing right here. And when this thing goes down for homing and stuff like that, it hits the box and all the filament poop just splattered all over my places and it was like chaotic. And then so I went back and redesigned it. I get rid of this piece here. I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna let it fly and make a catch basket for it. And that is exactly how I came up with that idea right there. And it works like a charm. It took me about two days for all of this testing. 3D printing, 3D modeling, but I finally made it work. I've been printing with this for a whole day now and it works. Nothing was a problem. The only problem is that the filament is still super hot. So sometimes it might get stuck in the basket here, but with a little bit of force, you can take all the filament out very easily. This video is turning out to be a little bit longer than I thought, but I hope you guys go ahead and download this mod for yourself for the Cobra 3 because if you don't, maybe you like finding filament poop all over the room. <laughs> but anyway, That'll be it for this video. I'm actually so happy that I made this design work and it just feels so great. Oh and by the way, before you leave, I have designed some logo and put it into t-shirts. If you want to help support this channel and you want something back, make sure to check out my store on Teespring and buy some t-shirts so that you can help support the channel and also get something in return. I will also be ordering some of the t-shirts to see if they are like really good quality and, and to see how the logos turn out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, Keep on 3D printing.